Welcome back, everybody. I hope y'all uh, been playing a lot of Dragon Ball here. I hope you took what I said in the last video to heart. Uh, you got your team, you got your characters, and you are ready for the next step. Well, I am here to show you some big boy combos, or more so the the big boy combo, the universal BNB, the 2MM, 2M5M. It has many a names, uh, but the important part is that half the cast can do this. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna throw this up on screen so you guys can see how many of the characters can actually do this, and then we're gonna choose some pretty uh, normal characters here. Uh, let's get Goku, of course, the boy. We gotta get Vegeta. This man is just mad at everything. Who else? Uh, Gohan too. Yeah, I know some of my boys out there like Gohan, so I gotta get that going. And you know. Some of these characters over here, if you look at the picture, it looks like they can't do the universal B in B, but uh, you'd be surprised how many of them on the right hand side actually can as well. There we go. Uh, let's go to the islands. We'll call this tutorial island for now. How about that? Alright, so yeah, like I said, guys, everyone can do this, or everyone in the green can do this, and. It's a pretty important thing to know. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I'm definitely going to be uh, showing you guys how you get the hit. This video is going to be more about what we do when we get the hit, okay? So before we get into this, uh, this is what the combo looks like. All right, here we go. We just got Goku here. Let me just show you. This is going to be the full thing here. And we have all the inputs on the left hand side. If you can just do this right off the go, you're a fucking master. But uh, we're gonna use our leveling process here. So let's get into level one. All right guys, so let's get into level one. I'm just gonna do the level one combo here to start off and kind of explain what we're doing here, okay? So um, let me just show you here. All right, now you see Goku Black here got put into a sliding uh, knockdown. That allows us to do super. So no matter what level of this universal BNB that we're doing, we will always end up putting the opponent in sliding, which will allow us to dump meter. And that's why this is so, so good, right? Because, you know, meter using your supers are a very easy way to do it. get a bunch of damage out really, really quickly, right? And then even if we don't do that, right? We can still stay on top of our opponent and be ready for whatever wake up option they do or throw out an assist to cover their wake up options, right? Eliminate what they're able to do uh, to recover. So yeah, keep that in mind. So yeah, let's get into the combo here. Uh, let's also assume again, uh, I'm running into this in a, in a later video, but we're just assuming we've already gotten the hit, okay? Either from confirming all of our down lights or you know, we hit them with an overhead, with our jump in, whatever. Don't worry about that too much. Like I said, we'll get into it in a later video, but uh, let's just assume they got hit by down medium medium, okay? Now that we've seen the the full the full functionality of just the level one combo or the combo in general, uh, I'm gonna break it down for you guys and let you know some of the common mistakes I see uh, when I teach people this, all right? So the first part here is gonna be down medium medium, all right? Um, it sounds simple, but not necessarily. A very common issue normally occurs here. Um, first off, you'll see something, you may get something like this. Down medium, overhead. And this typically means you're trying to jump before we actually have confirmed the standing medium. And all the easy solution to this is just take your time. Just be like, hey, down medium, medium. I know this game's fast, and sometimes you may not even know you got the hit, but just, all right, just take your time, make sure you're seeing it, and trust me, Ed, the more you play the game, the f you'll get more used to the rhythm of it, and you'll be able to just visually see that, hey, I'm doing down medium, medium, okay? If this, this overhead is coming out, that typically means you're just getting ahead of yourself, right? So the next important part here is the forward jump, right? A lot of people um, just starting out, especially if this is your first fighting game, may not be used to forward jumping or jump canceling in general. Um, all you really have to know is that whenever you hit your opponent with your stand medium, you are able to jump out of it as opposed to on block. So don't don't feel like you can't jump here. 
a lot of people are, are slow to respond because they're not used to jumping after they've hit someone. Normally people are worried about movement before they get the hit, you know, as a part of neutral, but that's not the case in this game. You hit the standing medium, you forward jump. Try not to up jump because if you do, the opponent will kind of drop out of the combo. They'll kind of get away from you, okay? So just make sure you forward jump, and if you're having issues with doing forward jumps, again, uh, a very good exercise I always recommend is just practicing forward jumping. As silly as it may sound, is just literally practice first forward, like rolling your, your hand if you're on D-pad, or rolling your wrist on stick from forward to the up position, or the up forward position, rather. That way, the forward jump will always come out and you won't get this, because this is gonna have the opponent drop for your combo. So we're gonna down medium, medium, and then we're gonna light, light, down heavy. And uh, depending on what's more comfortable to you, you could either hold down during the entire aerial portion, like so, or you can wait until you get to the, um, the down heavy and then press down heavy. Either way is fine. You're gonna get the same result because pressing down and light in the air typically won't have you do anything. Now, Vegeta here has a command normal, uh, this dive kick here that he can actually do. So we may not want to do that with him. So, uh, but he's a rare case. You don't have to worry about this too much. Just try to press. Make sure you're ready for that down heavy after you press light light. And a little bit of a fun fact here: the reason why we do light light down heavy, even though if you look closely at the light light, you see Vegeta here is actually doing his medium kick. Right? Um, we're we're basically doing aerial auto combo, which is going to allow us to follow our opponent. So not only are we jumping into them we're following them with the auto combo tracking so they just cannot slip out of the combo and that's why this is so good and works on so many different characters so so yeah next part here is gonna be light light down heavy and then we're gonna super dash okay that super dash is uh, pretty important too as simple as it looks make sure you're either pressing the super dash button which is R2 right trigger or RZ on some switch controllers um, you could also just press heavy as you'll see me do here on the left hand side and you will get the super dash out you can mash it right because we have so much time before we actually get to our opponent so even if you mash it a bit it won't interrupt your inputs once you actually get to the opponent all right and then the next thing is pretty simple actually uh, but we still experience some issues here you just light 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 that simple and we're gonna get that spike down which is gonna allow us to do our level one um, some people get a little bit ahead of themselves or they're not too familiar with pressing this many buttons in a row um, Because this game does require I mean the combos necessarily aren't the hardest, but they do sometimes Sometimes you're pressing, you know up upwards of 20 buttons per combo and that's a lot to do and process Especially if it's your first time doing it So you may just kind of just like bug out and just start mashing light and you'll probably get something like this See, and that's because we kind of just like missed our rhythm entirely. You don't have to mash. Once you've locked them in place with this down heavy and super dash, light, light, light. Literally that simple. Uh, just don't get ahead of yourself and you're typically fine. And uh, yeah, those are all the common mistakes that will do it for level one. All right, guys, welcome to level two. Uh, I got a don't go on here just to emphasize again that anyone can do this combo. Um, level two is just slightly different but uh, it makes a world of difference here. So uh, let's just do the full combo raw so you guys can get a look. We're gonna go down medium, medium, light, light, down heavy, light, light, down heavy again, light, light, light. And it doesn't seem too different, but as you can see, we worked a, our double jump into that uh, mix and we got a, three more hits, 12 hits in total. And it doesn't seem like a lot again, but it, it is really not as easy. But the great thing about getting past level two here is once we're able to do our double jump, uh, light, light, light effectively, that opens up a lot of routes that we'll get into a lot later. And as you watch combo videos, you'll see that uh, a lot often. And being able to do this is just really strong in the game for a bunch of different reasons, okay? So uh, that's really the only difference between level one and level two. Let me go ahead and give you guys a tip. Uh, so, so here's kind of the objective when you want to do that double jump. Instead of, instead of double jumping and then pressing light, 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 and we still got it to work there, but it probably won't work that way when you first try it out. Um, you want to aim for pressing, you want to double jump in light at the exact same time. You see how my inputs there are separated? More often than not, you will not be able to connect. Um, 
you want to aim for double jumping and lighting at the exact same time, okay? And this is going to cause a couple issues as you get the timing for this down. The number one issue I see a lot of my uh, trainees, if you will, is they end up skipping hits, right? So you see how I only got 11 hits there, right? Because I didn't do all my lights because I was just so concentrated on doing jumping and light, right? So that's gonna be the first mistake that's gonna happen, but that's fine. We're still finishing the combo, we're still getting sliding, but we're not getting all our hits, which means we're not getting all our bar. And that's gonna come into play a lot later, right? We get to do our supers and everything off bar, so. Um, you wanna make sure you're not jumping too soon, and sometimes people think of the double jump as not connected with the light, light, light. They think of it as double jumping into light, light, light. Uh, and they end up doing that. You end up dropping because we're not jumping into the opponent and putting out a hitbox at the same time. So you want to make sure that you're double jumping and pressing light at the same time. And it does take a while to get the timing down. Just make sure that you wait a bit after that down heavy and then you up forward jump light, light, light simultaneously. And you see my inputs there, a very good example of what you're shooting for, okay? But yeah, once you get past level two, it's time for level three. See y'all on the other side. All right, guys, welcome to level three. Uh, now we're going to go for optimization. Um, this level of the combo is going to give you one full bar, which we're gonna uh, be able to use for other things, but we do have to work a bit to get there. And sometimes this combo can drop if you're not necessarily close enough, as you'll come to see with the experience. But I'm just gonna start this off exactly the same. Down, medium, medium. Now here's the change. Light, medium, light, down, heavy. Light, medium, light, down, heavy again light 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 but you see we get that full bar okay that's gonna be huge because that means if we started at zero now we get the level one as soon as we come down and there's some other uh, uses for this as well but this level is just that simple you may run into some issues again because we're we're kind of disabling the auto um, the auto combo tracking so we may not be able to follow our opponent through the air and that's why you have to make super certain when you do start this when you go into it you jump into them to get in and you get all the the distance and spacing you need to get all 14 of those hits we're looking for 14 hits now all right so yeah level three is just that simple you got one full bar to work with if you started with zero you can drop meter and you're gonna do half their health all right moving on to level four All right, all right. So, guys, uh, welcome to level four. Uh, we got Goku Blue here, and we're not going to add anything new from level three. We're just going to do what we did before, but I want you guys to pay attention to a couple things. Characters like Goku Blue actually have very non cinematic level ones, right? And uh, they don't require any work. When you come down, you can level one either in the air or on the ground, and uh, Goku Blue here will always hit. You don't have to worry about it at all. Just to demonstrate here, I'm gonna level one while I'm airborne. And he just kind of teleports into place, right? Uh, he's just a really good character. He'll do all the work for you. Some characters though, that's not necessarily the case. So let's get Trunks out here for instance. Trunks does not have a level one that he can do in the air. So he has to wait until he hits the floor, right? And if you don't time it properly, you're gonna get a couple errors. You're either gonna do it too soon, and this is gonna happen. You're going to get a special move to come out. I didn't even press light and medium at the same time. But uh, yeah, either a special is going to come out or you're going to get down there and you're going to do the quarter circle forward and then try to time it. And then it's just going to be not all together. And then that's going to happen. I'm sure you guys have seen it before if you've gotten some games in. And so there's a way that we can kind of solve that problem. So uh, what you do is as you're coming down from the light, 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 you kind of activate your heavy. It doesn't matter really when you time it. It's just that after you do press it, you go ahead and input the level one. And whiffing that heavy is going to allow us to kind of lock our character into that heavy. Um, that way, if we do it too soon, he won't be able to level one. If we do it too late, he won't be able to level one. This is a little bit more applicable uh, for some characters and others, but it's a good thing to do no matter who you're playing as it's like for example You're playing Goku. I mean Vegeta blue here. He can't level one in the air You want to make sure you don't do his level one too soon or it won't come out or too late Right, and we just dropped that heavy and you see it was very faint It was very hard to see but when I did that I could freely put in the quarter circle forward light and medium input and then there you go like it just came out naturally I don't have to time anything if you do time it you do leave a margin forever error uh, as far as your timing goes, right? As long as your inputs are clean though, you use this method, you're good to go, okay? Um, don't pay attention to that. 
I'm trolling. But yeah, that's level four, guys. Uh, to, I'll meet y'all over at level five. Welcome to level five, guys. We can uh, officially dump a ton of meter, um, essentially making this a two-touch game if we have the bar. So what other functions does the universal BNB have? Well, um, let's say you're coming from the corner and you want to put the opponent in the corner, right? Since we get a bar and um, vanish will allow us to then combo into Dragon Rush after our BNB, we can put the opponent into the corner like so with relative ease, vanish, grab, make sure you hold grab to get all your inputs, and now we're right back on top of them. Um, lost, they lost 45% of their health, and you're in a good spot, right? You got one bar, it was basically a neutral bar combo, or a bar neutral combo, and you're just you're in a really good spot. If you got meter, you can go ahead and switch sides and dump meter, because if you're paying attention, it puts them in sliding still. So uh, yeah, does it get better than that? Yes, it does. So. If during that grab we also wanted to make Kefla come out because we see she's low, we'd like to go ahead and get rid of her. As we do this vanish into grab, we hold the assist button for her placement on the team and then she's going to be forced to come out and you'll see her assists are disabled. She cannot do any uh, tag options for about seven seconds I believe. But that's not all. Does it get better? Yes, it does. So let's say that uh, I want it to um, swap out Trunks here. He's low, right? Oh, let me go ahead and switch off Kefla, actually, before we troll. Go ahead and switch off Kefla there. So let's say, man, I'm like, I want to get Trunks out of here now at all costs. I don't want him to die. We do a half circle forward input, which I'll put on the screen here. And you see how Goku Blue came out and we only used a bar. We didn't have to use two bars. Let me go ahead and describe the half circle forward input as you're going to see this on a number of combo videos. I just want you to be familiar with that. So when you see half circle forward or half circle back, this is what this means. Looking at the stick at the top, we are going to go from the back position, roll the stick down into the forward position like so. And if you have enough bars, let's say we wanted to swap out trunks and we have three bars. We could do this as well. We can just, well, this is what I call raw Z changing. I'm sure it has a more official, better name, but we're just gonna call it raw Z changing because we're not using our actual point character to um, initiate the swapping. So let's say we have three bars, right? And we just wanna kill or do as much damage as possible and swap out Goku Black. So that time we did half circle back as opposed to half circle forward. So the same way we do our, our our level ones by doing quarter circle forward or down to forward inputs, however you interpret it, right? We just go one step further. Instead of doing it from the down position, we go to the back position, roll to forward. And if we want to do our level three, instead of just going from down to back, we start from the forward and we roll all the way to back. Uh, that's pretty much the best way I can put it. If you guys have a better way of putting it, please let me know in the comments. But yeah, that is uh, it for level five. You officially can basically make this a two touch game convert off of a lot of stuff using this and uh in the next video here we will talk about um how to get the hit because this game is designed in a way where there's a bunch of different ways to get to your opponent and um offense is pretty pretty flexible that's why i love the game so much so we'll get into uh offense in the next video so yeah thank you guys so much for watching go out there and do some fucking damage i'll see you on the next video